Hey guys, here's my first look at the trading post. So I picked up the initial quest to come over here and An item that is frozen will stay available month over month until it is purchased or replaced. That is cool. Okay. So I know in the first month we can collect 1500 of these traders tenders. So the most expensive item is the mount for 900. And then you see it slowly goes down. Let's just take a quick look at each of them, shall we? So the Celestial Steed, which probably a lot of you already have. If you're like me, you purchased it from the store back in, I think, 2010. And you have this cool looking weapon. Oh, why do you want to hide your armor? Guessing for one of the future things. Okay, 750 is the pet. That was... Oh my gosh. He is pretty darn cute. Okay, need to take that for a screenshot for the blog. All right. Ensemble, at least one of them. Okay, this is why you want to hide the armor. Okay, I get it now. Uh, well, I still like to collect the um, Fruit of Friend set. But that's for 12 months, and I've only collected my armor back on now. Now this staff does look pretty cool. I will definitely be collecting this one. So I can see my first month I'll be collecting the pet and this staff. So. Oh, that's the little back piece. Yeah. Uh, well, essentially, what you would cloak for hunters. Although I imagine hunters would like something more flowing or big. I don't know. You tell me. There's a different color variation. Dagger. that either. Oh, here we go. Looking bow. So I do like that they do have models, apart from the ones that we've seen before as maybe TCG items or store pet or store bought items. 
Rosy corsage. It's pretty cute. Going to a dance or something, maybe. Squire's Warhammer. Pretty basic. More of a role playing thing, I guess. Okay, so this this is pretty cool. I was actually wondering what this would look like on my set. If the color was a little different, I'd like it a little bit more. But the style, yeah, I actually don't mind that. I don't really like the ratty end to it. I'm sure we'll get it in various colors later on. Oh, okay, no, okay. I stand corrected. I like this one more. Now this is cool. Again, I wouldn't mind it in another color, but yeah, it's pretty unique, the color, so I don't mind it. Fitted bouquet. Oh. Okay. I like the high res visualizations of these new items. That, that looks pretty cool, actually. Oh, okay, and now here's the last one. Another war cloak. Well, they're really going with the like bovi and pink colors this month. I don't mind that. Okay, so all right. So let's try locking an item in. Freezing. I wonder how easy it is to actually swap it out. I guess, okay, so there's no right click or anything. You can't do it that way. I think you just have to plop something in there. So, sure you want to replace your current used item. Oh, okay, so it gives you a few seconds to actually think about it. I actually won't do that because I already have the Celestial Steed. But, so that's 500. I think I'll leave it as that. Okay. I'm left one day. Yeah, because this is technically the last day of January and it officially comes into play tomorrow, which is 1st of February 2023. And the current inventory lasts for one month. So, yeah, you do have one month to collect everything you want. But then again, you do have the option to freeze one item until you actually collect it, which is very cool. Otherwise, you'll have to wait for it to cycle around again. Much like those archaeology quests that we had in Legion. So, yeah, what do you think, guys? How many of these things will you be collecting in the first month? I think I'll probably go for three of the items. So I did like the one that had a cloak and kind of looked like the hood that was that wasn't around your head. That one? Yeah, this one. So I hope to see more colors, at least something that would suit this set more. If that's the case, I might actually, I don't know. I was going to say I might actually start wearing a cape, but yeah, I kind of like her not having a cape. Less things to get caught up in as a relic hunter, I think. So yeah, let me know what you think of this, guys. Actually. Let me just have another quick look around. Okay, so this is the thing that you can empty. At the first of the month, and then they said that they would fill this up. I'm guessing it might be like the garrison cache. And then to check your progress, you need to open the adventure guide, and there should be a new... Oh, there we go. Requires active game time. Well, hello. I do have active game time. I guess I'll have to check this out tomorrow since it's not officially open yet. But this will.
Okay, yeah, that's kind of cool. You can see them on the models as well. And once you buy it, you can transmog right here. Ooh. I'm guessing... Ah, so is this the one that we'll see tomorrow? It's time will tell. And... Like, this is the current one. It's interesting. So you'll be able to kind of see or plan what you want to save your tenders for. Full oh, mount, actually. Okay, here we go. Can be purchased this month. Oh, so you can get both this month. Well, sadly, I am currently sitting at zero tenders because apparently I don't have any active game time. <laughs> but that will change tomorrow. So what do you think, guys? Oh. Actually. Oh, so there you go. Currently sitting at 200 out of a possible 1500. I'm most interested in this one. So defeat Dragon Isles Master Tamers with Dragonkin pets. Yep, I've definitely done that. So I can go revisit those or at least finish off the tamers that I haven't done with dragons. But I think I've actually finished that one. That particular achievement. So win 15 pet battles and use happy pet snacks. Purchase from the pet supply vendor in Dalaran. And then various other ones that you can do. So it seems like it's pretty much things that you would already do. So yeah, there you go. What do you think about this new feature, guys? What will you be collecting first? Let me know in the comments below. As usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video.